Welcome back to Pokemon Thursday. <sighs> oh, no, hello visuals. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Pokemon Thursday. Today we were talking about anything. <laughs> Digimon, of course. It's the, it's the most hilarious meme you'll ever see in your entire life. <sighs> that did make, make that noise. Do how many people? And literally, it's about four people that watch his videos anyway, and half of you have already clicked off. So, hello to the two people. Remember, James, I know you'll still be here. You stick it out to the end, regardless of what's fucking happening on here. Just absolute um, VL visual legend. You're a VL. Next time I see you, I'm going to be like, I'm not going to be like that. <laughs> Next time I see you, I'm going to be like that. I mean, like, like, and you'll be like, oh my god. If you got your street cred, mate, you won't do that. But no, it's time to review Pokemon Evolutions Episode 4. Of course, as you haven't already guessed, we are counting down from Gala, down to Alola, down to Kalos. Now we're in Univer. Yes, we are uh, looking, uh, taking a look at the events that partake in the Univer region. Generation 5, Sinnoh, Sinnoh, Univer region, Gen 5, Sinnoh. Sinnoh's next, you twat. We've got Team Plasma, Shenanigans, we've got Getsis, freaking twat, N, Zekrom, uh, kind of Reshiram, I mean Reshiram's there, but Reshiram's not rah, there, soon to be there. <sighs> this was already instantly a better episode from last week. Last week's episode, not that last week's episode was crap, it was just, it was just flat, it was just Lysander, you know, the, the ultimate weapon, Xerneas, Mega Gyarados, and you're like, oh okay. Uh, and again, spoiler heavy, even though I don't really need to say spoiler heavy, because if you're watching these, I'm assuming... Well, if you're watching the Evolution series, you, you've probably completed the game, so you know the outcome, you know what's happening, you know what, what's going down. Um, but this was instantly a much, but much, much, much better episode. It's about eight minutes long, this, this one. I'm pretty sure that could be the longest out of all of them. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. I think it is. Um, and we see what, what, you know, what gets his plan is um, with um, you know, the, the, the Sinnoh region. Ugh, I keep saying Sinnoh, you... Why do I keep saying Sinnoh? The Unova region, what Team Plasma's ultimate goal is, you know, to uh, just free all Pokemon, basically, and then he wants to ultimately rule and all this shit, because he's a fucking massive bellend. A lot of people know that Team Plasma, one of my least favourite teams, the Unova region, one of my least favourite regions, Gen 5 in general, one of my least favourite. Probably, no, I think it is, it is my least favourite gen. But what I love about this episode is the nice little animation we get from uh, N as a child, Growing up, uh, you know, gets his wanted eventually for him to take over and become, you know, king and and uh, to rule. And he's molding him and shaping him and forming him. We see him in his bedroom because remember, you get to explore like his bedroom where he lived and all that shenanigans inside of the games. And you get to relive it and see it this way. See him growing up, um, his relationship and and whatnot with Zekrom, which is pretty cool. What they do to the league because again, if you play the games, you know what happens when you get to the league. Um, a massive, awesome, awesome, awesome battle um, again. Just like the, the animation style between Luna and Luna Crows, where we have another great one between uh, Volcarona and um, Zekrom. It just looks so freaking cool. It just looks beautiful and uh, fast flowing. The animation's great. Um, and we see them take over the league and, you know, the, the builder being resurrected and risen up and whatnot. Uh, and then eventually, us, the character, turning up, rocking up to stop gets this, to stop Team Plasma, to stop End, to stop Zekrom with our Reshiram in this version of Reshiram. Of course, depending which game you got, you can have Zekrom, Reshiram, Reshiram. Yeah. It really, 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 really was a fun episode. We get a nice breakdown. They really, truly get involved in what Team Plasma are, who Team Plasma are, what they want to do, which is cool, fine and dandy, we know that bit, but it was, I can't get over my... Uh, get over the fact that we, we, the, we saw the end growing up part. I, I really love that in animation form because I love N as a character. I think he's extremely, extremely fascinating. Uh, there's obviously there's still the theories out there. Is he a Zoroark? Is he a Zoroark? I don't know if that's ever been debunked, Trots. What are you smart people in the comments? Let me know. Is, has that been debunked? Do we still think he might be a Zoroark? Of course, speaking of Zoroark, fucking, what, what did we get the other day? That cryptic message, you know, they cleared it up and it's Zoro and Zoroark looking all Hayushian. Fucking mental. Uh, for, for, for real, I love this episode. It was so much fun. It was, it was great. Um, hashtag Z Team Zekrom out of the two all day, every day. So hopefully this one plays out differently from the games and Zekrom actually wins. Not that I want to plasma to win, but I like Zekrom. The idea of Zekrom beating Reshiram because Reshiram's too, I don't know, it just fills up its own ass. Zekrom's like, I'm a badass punk rocker. He's some electric dragony powers. <laughs> And then there's a cool shot as well at the start where there's a little, massive stereo and, that, and there's loads of shit kicking off and you just see a tepig. I think he's eating a berry or an apple and he's just like eating, not giving a shit. No care in the world. This episode really, 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 really was, even though everyone has a part from 
really the Galar region. Um, the Galar region didn't really explore it. Neither did Sun and Moon. The last episode really did, and this episode just f focusedly because I think this episode is called the Plan. Um, it focuses heavily on, like I said, Team Plasma and gets us an end. It, it, that's what the main focal point is. You know, last episode was like Sand and what he wants to do. But Sun and Moon was literally the Ultra Beast against Lunala. And the Crows were against Lunala Crack. And then episode one was all about Leon. And this one's heavily, heavily focused on um, the, the, the bad guys, the, you know, Team Plasma. Uh, the, the, the bad group from, from you know, and, and it was fun. Um, so you're going to enjoy this one. I, I, I'm going to say it was maybe, oh, can I say it's the best episode? I really do love Lunala vs. the Crows. Like, that battle was great. And it, and it just looked beautiful. And I'm going to say it's the second best episode. So, oh no, but Leon and his Charizard was amazing. Uh, no, I'm going, to say, I'm going to say it's the second best. Still going to say Lunala episode, the best than this one. But yeah, you're going to have so much fun. Uh, eight minutes, not long out of your day. Great, great animation. Uh, again, in a battle between Volcarona um, and, and Zekrom. Uh, great storytelling in terms of cramming all this little information into an eight minute video. Who is in? Growing up, what's going on? This gets us, what does he want? All of it gets explained. It all lets you know what's happening, what's going down. And of course, it ends with a nice cliffhanger of you rock up with your Reshiram. Oh, you've got the light ball, uh, light ball. Uh, yeah, the light ball, the light ball, whatever. Uh, rock up and then boom, ends. Uh, so it was a nice way to end because, again, we already know what's going to happen after that point. We defeat him, blow out Cup champion, save the universe, game ends. Um, so, yeah, great episode. 10 out of 10. Stellar. Beautiful animation. Beautiful storytelling. Well done story. Really, really well done storytelling in an 8-minute video. Uh, it's 10 out of 10. Amazing. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of this review. I'm glad a couple of you are really enjoying these reviews. James said these have been great reviews. This one probably not so much because I am really, really ill. And I just want to lay down and die so much. It's been hectic at work and... I come home and I'm dying and Newcastle are about to play soon so we're going to die even more because as much as I love that we've been taken over we still can't play football to save our lives but visuals that was your review of Pokemon Evolutions episode 4 The Plan I think it's called The Plan let me know what you think of the episode and let me know what you think of me and Kakarot's nipples high five visuals thanks for watching more keep me new and keep on and I'm not keeping up